The Commonwealth has rested. No more evidence are they going to present in their case in chief. Michael Jaffer, I'm going to push back. I know that you said, yes, the spouse has to testify. They have to tell their story. But if counsel knows that the spouse might be uh, non-sympathetic or if there are things like, well, the defendant had a fat lip and injuries, according to one of the state's witnesses, and that may open the door for her to be asked how to get those, all of those things, I think, mean this particular spouse may or may not testify. But I push, I, I just, I think there's a chance she might not. We don't know if she's going to or not. I think she has to testify because that last witness made the jury. I mean, I, I hate that. I'm disgusted by the evidence by, and we didn't see the photos, the jury saw the photos, right? But yeah, I mean, obviously she's a wild card, but at the end of the day, she's on trial for her life. I think that she has to come bring, the, because even the, the her daughter who was at the house didn't actually witness what happened. Nobody, only two people know what happened and one of them is dead. The other person's in the courtroom. I just don't see how, as a defense attorney, I mean, we've seen people not even attend their own trial. So obviously it's very possible that we don't see her take the stand, but we don't know why. Uh, we've seen people, they don't even attend their own trial. They're, they, they stay in the cell. So she might tell her attorney, I don't want to testify. But to, to answer your question, Judge Jesse, do I believe that it's smart for her to testify? Yeah, I mean, she doesn't have a criminal, she's not like, uh, you know, she didn't go to jail for larceny. It's not that she has crimes of moral turpitude in her background. She can be impeached on what she says, but she's had years now to prepare for this. So I think that she would have been prepared by now and she has to show the jury she can't just sit mute, in my opinion, and, and get uh, acquitted.